everyone. On deck today for review is the MS4 sling from Magpul with the QD attachments. I uh, did a review previously, actually it was one of my first reviews ever, if you can tell if you watch the video, of the uh, MS3. And this is the updated version with the uh, QD attachment points. We'll keep doing a little bit more shooting out here today. And uh, then we'll step inside, take a closer look at this sling, and I'll let you know what I think of it overall at the end. But for now, we'll keep putting some rounds down range. I wanted to get a close-up shot real quick just to show you guys the stitching as well as the uh, metal components here on the sling. If you take a look here at the stitching, you'll see it's uh, pretty, pretty durable stuff. There's some box stitching. Uh, double stitching in certain parts, the triple in other parts, um, very very durable. I can't see it ever being an issue in terms of breaking under stress and uh, the actual webbing itself is a quarter, an inch and a quarter, excuse me, uh, nylon based material. Very durable, it's the same stuff as on the MS3 which has not frayed yet to date. Uh, they say it's anti-fray material and uh, so far my MS3 is living up to that claim as is the MS4 here. So. And we'll show you how the uh, quick detach points work for those of you guys that are unfamiliar with them. Um, basically you're just going to push this little part here in the rear as you insert it and that will lock it in place. And you guys can see here there is an uh, anti-rotational device on there. So that way it probably moves, I'm guessing, 10 to 15 degrees and it's not going to be spinning around on you. Which as you guys have watched some of my other reviews in the past, I've talked about why that can be an issue. Just your gear flopping around. You want it to be somewhat stationary, but also a little bit of play is good too, just for comfort and being able to move it. So that's pretty good. Uh, 10 to 15 degrees, pretty much right where you want it. But it's going to stay locked in place. It ain't going anywhere until you actually push that button again and release it. It comes right out. So that's the quick to touch system. A lot of gun owners out there, myself included, uh, like the benefits of both single point and two point slings and you guys have seen me use both on the channel here over the years. Um, obviously just a quick overview for those of you who don't know, a uh, two point sling like this is going to give you a little bit more security with the setup in terms of your weapon not flopping around. Um, if you ever have to go hands on with someone it's much easier to use a two point sling and just tighten it down to your body so the weapon's not moving around. Also if you have to climb obstacles over or under things, um, the two point is definitely more secure in terms of holding the rifle to your body. But other people um, prefer the single points for the ability to switch shoulders, maybe shoot from awkward positions. The single point is going to give you a little bit more ease, this is generally speaking now, and shooting from off positions. Um, so the beauty of this sling is that it can do both. Set up in the two point uh, configuration like we have it now. All you need to do is push the button, come up here, put the QD in, if I can get it in and uh, put the QD in and now it's in single point configuration so if you want to switch shoulders it's very easy to do not that it's hard to do in a two point configuration but I know a lot of folks do like the single point for that reason um, and then if you want to tighten it down because when you go two point to one point or single point generally you're going to have a little bit of slack in there you can just pull this loop up until it tightens down to where you want and has the right amount of slack on there and going back to two point very simple as well and uh, just put it up front and now, if you're going from single point to two point, generally you're going to need a little bit more slack. So all you need to do is pull that loop, pull it forward, you can come up, and you're on target. So, a great sling. Um, I like the MS3. I like this one as well because nowadays a lot of things are coming with uh, quick detach uh, points on them all over the rifles. Obviously, I have an end plate here. The stock has one. The rail has one up front. So. Uh, as the market for these grows, the popularity of the sling I think is going to grow as well. But a few other things, um, it comes in two colors, coyote and black. And the coyote that you see here is IR compliant for those of you guys that are uh, in the military and your command is worried about that, you're good to go there with that. Um, and the cost, they generally come to market anywhere between $50 and $60 depending on where you shop. You may see them a little bit higher, may be a little bit lower. But if you see them too low, um, be very cautious. There's a lot of Magpul fakes out there. Every product they make to include these slings, you'll see them coming from China all the time on eBay. Um, they're not real. So I do advise you to buy them from a reputable source or a Magpul dealer. Magpul does have a list of all their dealers on their website. Not all of them, but the big ones. Um, so you can go ahead and check against that if you're unsure. But as always, guys, I uh, hope I answered your questions on this sling. And uh, if you have any questions that I didn't answer, feel free to post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and click below. Subscribe to the channel. 
and I hope to see you in the next video.